Hey guys, I'm uh, revisiting the Guangzhou markets. It is a Monday afternoon and I uh, just wanted to see about how busy it is on a Monday um, lunch uh, break, I guess. So we're gonna go ahead and walk through now and check it out. So this is uh, one of the entrances. This is the east gate of the Guangzhou markets. Lots of street food. Very famous for their street food here. find many delicious foods like this is sunde it's like blood sausage we got pork knuckles it's like chicken feet very spicy got some intestines over there Pretty busy, but um, I've seen it much busier um, in this area before. And so uh, I'm going to show you some other parts of the Kwangjang market, okay? Uh, not just the food place. So looking this way is uh, south. Looking this way is north. So we're going to go west. Oh, 
So going west, um, we we're kind of going away from the street food and we've entered just the regular kind of market selling all kinds of stuff, vegetables, fish, meat, marinated um, stuff. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it, stuff. So let's take a look at what's over here. Very friendly, but you can see many things. Very tasty looking and it smells delicious. Some red crabs, some fish roe. <laughs> uh, little crabs here and <laughs> We have some other things over here. Some like pick pickling. Lots of items are pickling. Ah, here we got some fish. Clams, mussels, sea urchins, squid, octopus, shrimp, all kinds of stuff. Check this out. It's some some carved things. It looks like squid. I'm not sure, but uh, these are like a lot of rice cakes and stuff for ceremonies and whatnot. Traditional. Uh, lots of different kimchi's here. Mmm, yummy. Uh, this is a uh, meyun tang. I made a video about this, but this is probably much tastier than the one that I made that was store-bought. Here it's fresh. Uh, playing an accordion thing. Yeah, so you can see there's an upstairs level. Um, you're gonna find like other types of textile stuff, cloth, towels, blankets, and other stuff in there. And then, um, so this is a main corridor, but off to the side are lots of little restaurants and um, uh, nothing this way, but uh, oh, it's dried fish. Some fish row sacks and intestines. And peppers and vegetables. You buy the pot like that, and then um, they bring it to you inside, or if inside is full, um, they'll set up an, an outside thing here. So you can see these little stools. They'll set it up right here in the middle, and then they'll bring out like a hot, uh, a hot gas burner, and then you just boil your soup right there and eat it right here in the middle of the market. Really cool. Yeah, so um, going straight, kind of running into towels and other stuff, but see if we can branch off this way, and go to another section of the market. Um, there's an area here that runs, uh, it runs parallel to that main one that we just passed by with all the food and whatnot. There's this little back alley. Yeah, a lot of like traditional ornaments. Really good place for gifts. And Korean style, like pillows and blankets and whatnot. Uh, 
Uh, here's curtains, blankets. Let's see what's down here. Yeah, lots of bedding materials. big kind of a skylight going on yeah but so you can see this is all over just blankets blankets pillows pillows curtains curtains okay now if I uh, we would have come out that way, but I'm going to keep going left, which is south. And here you can see you can just buy fabrics. Wholesale. Yeah, so over this way. Lots of fabrics, just like fabric central over there, all along here, and all along here. Now I'm going to continue west, see what we run into. There's zippers, lots of zippers. Buttons, need some buttons. I'm getting caught behind those two old ladies, so I'm gonna branch off to the right side. Got some street food over here, just a little bit. Oh, these are like fashion magazines. Makes sense because we are in the fabric area. She's got the Mayak Kimpap, very famous Mayak Kimpap. Chapche. See, it's kind of dark over here. And they just have the Odeng and this dark corridor. But this is the exit, so we're gonna go out of it, get back into daylight. This is one of the many exits of the Kwangjung Market. Yeah, so um, what do you guys think of these walk around videos of Seoul in the marketplaces and the side alleyways and stuff? Ah, I'm deaf. Um, do you guys like these kind of videos? Um, if so, leave a comment. Tell me why you like them, what you like about them and uh, I will continue to make them.
Okay, thanks for watching. And once again, this is the Kwangjung Shijang, Kwangjung Market. Okay. Check it out sometimes. Dongdaemun. Okay. Okay. See you guys later. Bye.